Andrew Kurtzman is the president of Kurtzman Strategies, a public affairs communications firm, and the author of the books Giuliani, The Rise and Tragic Fall of America's Mayor, and Rudy Giuliani, Emperor of the City. Andrew, good to have you here. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, you, you and I were just talking in the commercial break about the, the, the rise and fall, if you will, of, of Rudy Giuliani. This guy was America's mayor. Whatever, uh, and we can talk about this in a minute, whatever people didn't like about what he did as mayor toward the end he did leave uh, as america's mayor and then he ran for president in 2008 right. that's right and and you reminded me that for the better part of a year he was the front runner he was the obvious republican candidate for president uh for the better part of a year and you seem to point to that as where things turned for him yeah i think if you could uh plot something on a graph yeah. of the catastrophic fall of Rudy Giuliani, it would begin in 2008, okay. right? So after 9-11, he was more popular than the Pope, according to polls, right? He cast in, he was worth, uh, his company was worth $100 million. They made it over five years. He was, you know, he was, so he was one of the most security and, consu consultancy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's. He, uh, he was just a beloved person, and not just in America, but across the globe. So it almost seemed logical mm -hmm. that he would run for president and win. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, but it flamed out. It was a terrible, terrible humiliation. He left that race after a year of being the front runner. He left after just four weeks with just one delegate. Right. And thus you know, started this desperation to regain his relevance, which eventually led him into the arms of Donald Trump. And where do you, this desperation for relevance, he had managed to feed that for all of his career as a prosecutor and That's then right. as mayor and then as a post-mayor famous guy who post polled well, and then the, the next obvious president. And all of a sudden he hits a wall in 2008. Right, exactly. In fact, I, I, for my book, I interviewed Giuliani's ex-wife, Judith Giuliani, who told me the secret, the key to Rudy Giuliani was a need for relevance. Hmm. And what happened after nine, uh, sorry, what happened after the 2008 race was that his 9-11 halo was gone, right? He was no longer kind of the most beloved person. He was kind of a, you know, was a loser. <laughs> and he started taking on sketchy clients around the country, started making inflammatory, provocative comments on television. There was a desperation to the quality of what he was doing, trying to kind of, you know, regain what he had. And also the, the, the financial benefits he had right. after 9-11. Then came Donald Trump, right? Trump needed Giuliani in 2016. He had no political kind of, you know, infrastructure. And Giuliani needed Trump because mm -hmm. he needed a ticket back to relevance. Uh, well, tell me about what's the same about Giuliani from all those years that you covered <laughs> him as you see now, the, the sort of bullying tactics, the, uh, you know, some of the, the meaner side of things. Sure. Well, I mean, I was I covered Giuliani back at City Hall. So I watched Giuliani as mayor and I thought he was enormously effective, enormously effective. But part and parcel of his success was an authoritarian style. I mean, Ruining reputations is what Rudy Giuliani does. I mean, his his career is marked, going back to prosecutor, mm -hmm. with the ruined reputations of his targets. And he was, you know, he was a he was a bully. You know, he was kind of relentless and remorseless, just as he was in in the case of the two election workers. At anything that stood in his way, he could not care less about the repercussions. Uh, at this point, he's got a $148 million judgment against him. He's got other debts. He's got other cases that could result in sure. much bigger judgments. Yeah. What's your sense of his financial situation? Do you know? Well, <laughs> uh, it was tenuous at best before the $150 million verdict. Right. And, you know, he's a look. I mean, he's a ruined man. Right. He's he's probably headed towards bankruptcy. He's been indicted in Georgia. He's an unindicted co-conspirator in D.C. He's facing potential jail. I mean, the the arc of the Giuliani rise and fall story is almost complete. He's, he could end that story in a prison cell. It's remarkable how this has happened. Andrew, thank you for joining us this thank morning. You. We really appreciate it. I suspect there are a whole lot of people pulling uh, your book out today or, or, or buying it anew, uh, both of your books, to, uh, to learn more about Rudy Giuliani. Andrew Kurtzman is the president of Kurtzman Strategies, the author of Giuliani, The Rise and Tragic Fall of America's Mayor, and Rudy Giuliani, Emperor of the City.